Hey, this is Noel Rice from Falafel Software. In this video, we're going to take a standard Unity app and configure it so that we can deploy it to the HoloLens. In the following video, we'll do the actual deployment. Right now, you'll notice there's no Holo Toolkit menu item. Uh, in the previous video, we set up a package for that, so we're going to import that. And actually, before we do that, let's take a look at the project right now. So this is the standard Unity project. It has assets, library, project settings, temp. There's no Visual Studio pieces to it yet. So let's go ahead and bring in the assets, uh, import package, custom package, and set up the Holo Toolkit Unity package that we saved off in the last video. We'll take out the examples and we'll just bring in the toolkit itself and these RSP files, these are compiler directives. Now that we have the Holo Toolkit imported, the Holo Toolkit menu shows up and we have the configure item. It's going to save us a lot of time and be a lot more organized than individually going down a checklist and doing all the settings individually. The scene settings, uh, mainly that's going to be setting up the camera so that we've got a transparent background that's properly positioned. We'll change the project settings that we've got an actual Visual Studio project and that it's set to deploy to the uh, Windows Store. And then we'll set up the capability. Minimally, you'll we'll want spatial recognition. Um, so we'll enable that. So for the first option, the scene settings, let's take a look at the scene. There's only two game items in it. We can see in the scene view here that it's the camera and there's a directional light. We can also see that in the higher hierarchy view here. Uh, the directional light is not uh, a key piece. We could leave that out even. The main camera is very important. Uh, its position here is appropriate for a, for instance, a desktop game where we want to put the camera up a little bit on the y-axis and back 10 units. Uh, but we'll want to set those to zero and the HoloLens will take it from there. The camera, we don't really want the skybox view. This would occlude, this would get in the way of what the whole lens is going to show us. We only want to show our game objects, not any sort of predetermined background. So this will be a solid black color that'll be transparent. And the field of view, if you look at the field of view going off here at 60 degrees, it's a little wide. And in fact, we'll come down to 16 uh, for the holo lens. And the near clipping plane will be a little farther out here uh, in keeping with the holo lens. So let's go ahead and set that option. HoloLens scene settings. We've got solid color. Also notice the transform has gone to the origin center of the world, 000. Uh, we've got the solid black background that'll be transparent. Field of view is 16. Clipping plane is 0.85. So it's moved out just a little bit. Before we move on to the project settings, we'll want to do a little housekeeping in the scene or we're going to lose our, uh, our scene settings for one thing. Uh, so we'll right click this and save scene as and by convention, I'll use main. Also, I'm going to create a scenes folder just by way of good housekeeping here. Keep all these scenes together, even though we only have one. I'll drag the main scene into the scenes folder. If we didn't have the Holo Toolkit menu and the option to set the project settings, we would need to go to File, Build Settings, and you can see here that it's set for a standalone platform with these settings here. What we really want is a Windows Store universal app. So we'll take care of that along with creating uh, Visual Studio files in this next step. Let's just double check. So our Holo Toolkit files don't have any Visual Studio pieces to it yet. We'll go to Holo Toolkit and Project Settings. Now we'll get a couple of dialogues. Uh, one to do text serialization. The main piece here though is that we're going to reload the project because it's actually going to alter the project file. and we're loaded back in. So now if we look at our files, we've got the project and the solution. So that's good. And under file, build settings, it is now a Windows Store app, Universal 10, D3D instead of XAML. That's all good. 
The last step is to set up capabilities. Minimally, you'll want spatial perception, so we'll turn that on uh, later as you need microphone, webcam, etc. You can turn those on. And we're set to go. So see you out on the next video. We'll uh, use the Holo Toolkit build window and build, package, and deploy the application.